Thanks for joining me this week on UTRGV TV. I'm Juliana Quiroz, and UTRGV TV starts now. On this week's top story, La Unión del Pueblo Entero organized a Know Your Rights presentation for DACA recipients in the Edinburgh campus. Our reporter Jorge Hinojosa has the story. On Wednesday, La Unión del Pueblo Entero organized a Conozca Sus Derechos or Know Your Rights presentation at the Edinburgh Liberal Arts Building at UTRGV. Speakers from Lupe came to campus to help DACA recipients better understand their rights as students and how to confront an immigration official in case of questioning their nationality. A sociology professor at UTRGV gave his intake on the presentation. The event was great. Uh, it provided the students with lots of meaningful information that they needed, they needed to know. Even though Villarreal praises the event, he still thinks that the university should better help DACA students feel safe in their campus. But more needs to be done so that the students can feel more safe uh, in their environment here at UTRGV. A Lupe representative said that even though some students may feel uneasy, there is still hope for DACA. We live in a pretty good time for anybody that has DACA or is undocumented um, because I'm pretty sure there should be something positive that's going to happen. The presentation concluded with questions from the speakers and free t-shirts were given to the public. In Edinburgh, reporting for UTR TV, TV I'm Jorge Nojosa. September is National Campus Safety Awareness Month, and UTRGV Superhero Project hosted a suicide prevention training. Our reporter Kenya Gomez has more. If you see something, choose to do something. Don't just let it be because that could be the last opportunity that anyone has to save someone's life. Counseling Center provides any type of mental health assistance. The kind of counseling that we do is one on one, and it could be from a range of things things from anxiety, depression, loss of a relationship, um, things going on with academics, things going on at home, things dealing with um, homosexuality, sexual orientation. Last Friday, UTRGV held its annual Fresh Start Conference. Our reporter Margarita Muniz has the details. With these words of wisdom, UTRGV kicked off its third annual Fresh Start Conference this past Friday. The purpose of this event is to introduce students every fall semester to new class strategies, leadership skills, and personal growth. Yeah, so basically what the conference is about is um, just motivating students, telling them more or less on um, guiding them through their first year, uh, motivating them emotionally, um, showing them some time management skills, and just key things that are important. The conference was held in both Edinburgh and Brownsville campuses consisting of breakout sessions such as career success, stress management, and a presentation from national speaker, author, and leadership expert Joshua Fredenberg. This semester has been really stressful and I feel that being here can, I can get something out of this and um, hopefully it helps me um, work through this semester. 
The event was held at the Student Union Theater and hosted by the mental health program and student involvement. With raffles, a ceremony, and providing those who participated with dinner, the conference came to an end. After attending, many UTRGV students felt motivated to start the semester on the right track. For UTRGV TV, I am Margarita Muñiz. This past weekend, I visited the city of Harlingen for the commemoration of the 207th anniversary of Mexican Independence Day. Let's take a look. Hey everyone, I'm here at the Harlingen Municipal Auditorium where the 16 de septiembre event is just about to begin. Let's go check it out. As I entered into the lobby area, there was a dinner with special guests from the city of Matamoros, the consulate of Mexico in Brownsville, and city officials from, of course, Harlingen. There seems to be a lot of people going in there before the civic ceremony starts. Let's see how much they know about 16 de septiembre. ¿Me podría decir qué sabe usted de 16 de septiembre? Ay, pues es una fiesta muy mexicana, muy de nosotros, ¿verdad? Es uh, la independencia de México. Entonces, no, pues hay, hay, es mucho que celebrar. Fue cuando en Dolores Hidalgo se celebró la independencia y pues se celebra ahora el grito de independencia, valga la redundancia. Y pues sí, estamos muy orgullosos de ser mexicanos. Claro. Gracias al país que nos acoge, pero como México no hay dos. Exacto. Que viva México. Que viva México. And with the sound of trumpets and drums, the civic ceremony began. by the alternate consul of Mexico in Brownsville, Sergio Jacobo. auditorium was filled with mariachi music from Siete Leguas and dance from the Ballet Folklorico of Matamoros. <laughs> Before I left, I noticed this man waving his flag all throughout the ceremony and concert. This is what he had to say when I asked him how he felt that day. Orgulloso de ser mexicano, de sostener esta bandera tan grande nación, tan bella, llena de cultura, llena de orgullo, llena de gente hermosa. Es lo mejor. Es un orgullo grande que hay en tu corazón. And after interviewing and filming so many great people full of Mexican pride, I myself got to enjoy with a little Juan Gabriel magic. And with this song playing in the background and full of Mexican patriotism, I end my day here. In Harlingen, for UTRGV TV, I'm Juliana Quiroz. Various types of artists are welcome to show their talent for free every Saturday night. Our reporter, Ileana Luna, has more. Welcome to Luna Coffee House Open Mic. Luna's Coffee House held an open mic night that was open to all types of talents, where performers are welcome to show their artwork as customers can enjoy Luna's coffee and pastries during live performances. We welcome comedians, musicians, poets, uh, and it's just a space for people to be able to express themselves, uh, share the, the artwork that they've been working on, and just, uh, you know, being able to discover that, that, that part of them, that performance part. Not only does Luna's Coffee House hold this free event every Saturday, but has published authors and local musicians perform. Meet Damien, a regular at the house whose music likes to speak for itself. Including myself, I'm also autistic, so I just want to make an example and be like, you know, sharing awareness to people with the autism that, you know, they're not alone, 
or or even other participants or anywhere they can they ha they can do the talent they can do all this stuff so we're here we're open I mean we we came here with open arms no, nothing to judge and that's why I came here you know this no judging no anything the coffee house also has a book called rabbit on the moon that is an anthology of collective writings from artists that perform there they as well support new and current participants no matter what the age to stand before the mic and express positivity as long as you have a, a, a positive message something you want to share with us um, comedy you know um, as, I, as I mentioned poetry music it can be any type of music any type of poetry just as long as, as you have it, you're more than welcome to share it. An upcoming event is to be held September 21st, where they will have an author present her latest book, which is about self-love. Reporting for UTRGV TV in McAllen, Eliana Luna. On this semester's first Try It With Ramiro segment, let's get started with UTRGV soccer. Soccer has always been a well-renowned sport that requires teamwork and communication. We're at the UREC. We'll be getting our kickstart into soccer. Now let's go check it out. Taking my first steps into training, I was ready to give it all I got. It's mostly in the legs, uh -huh. but I don't know why my back hurts for it. <laughs> it's the stretchy. It takes hard work and dedication to play. They put all the effort, right? They always come to practice, 6.30 a.m. They are ready to practice uh, Monday through Thursday, right? They are a great team, great players that we have. It's been a busy day. I can feel it on my feet, but this has been Ramiro Gonzalez from UTRGV TV. Catch you next time. Here's Daniel Galvan with this week's UTRGV Sportscast. Are you ready, kids? No? Yeah, that was the whole plot of it. Hello, my name is Daniel Galvan. This is a new UTRGV Sportscast. Is that friend of the Sportscast, Barbara Krug? Barbara, what are you doing? Playing hide and seek. With who? Failure. It hasn't found me yet. Now that I have you here, Barbara, would you like to help me out in this week's sportscast? Of course, but first, I think it's been forever that I'm here, so we should do an icebreaker where we share like three dark, deep secrets about each other. Perfectly. I'm super prepared. All right, you go first. Um, my favorite movie is Twilight. I sweat a lot. My favorite book is Twilight. I like Shawn Mendes. I really like Twilight. Girls scare me. I feel like you kind of got the better end of these secrets. But regardless, let's talk about UTRGV Volleyball. It was a big week. The first three home games for the volleyball team, they won all three. And at the very first game, the entire team got presented their rings for winning the WAC championship. Barbara, do you have your ring with you? Of course. Let me see it. Well, that is a super fantastic ring. And uh, Hello? Oh, I put it in the That was enough. Not Get away, get away. I must go on a mission. I'll be back. Anyways, back to volleyball. The WAC Championship and NCAA Tournament birth banners were presented. All right, we'll actually get back to that later. But the South Texas showdown against Texas A&M, Christy, took place, and the team was so dominant, they pulled off a three-set sweep. Uh, UTRGV's Daenerys Targaryen, number one, Ragnistein Knudsen, was on fire with 11 kills and 11 digs. Back to the banners. Here they are being presented. Okay, still not, still not fully shown. Michael Jordan's favorite athlete, number 23, Bojana Mitrovic, also had 11 kills. Mitrovic was named WAC Player of the Week. Congratulations to the chosen one. And finally, here are the banners. UTRGV then won a crazy exciting five-game set against Incarnate Word. 
but the only thing I want to show you is this tragic video of my hero, number 10, Dubrovka Vukoya, getting hit in the face of the volleyball. This is absolutely distressing. But the good news is I'm here with Dubrovka. She's perfectly fine. Number 10, uh, Dubrovka, I got to ask you, how did it feel to get hit in the face with the ball? Well, the ball didn't hit my face. I hit the ball with my face. That is a phenomenal way to look at it. I don't even understand what it would be like to get hit with hit with, hit with. This is Axel's lit thoughts. What if Star Wars is based on a true story, but in the future? This was Axel's lit thoughts. Hi, I'm Nathaniel Puente. I have to pee my pants. All right, I'm back here with Barbara. My watch has ended. Now, if there's one thing I don't like, it is cows. I don't even like these cows and they're my neighbors. Fun fact about cows, the only word I know is moo. That is phenomenal. Now, the reason why we are talking about cows is that the women's soccer team took on the University of Texas Longhorns. And they play a great game against a top 25 team. The team held the Longhorns scoreless in the first 90 minutes with goalkeeper Kinga Shemek getting six saves and forcing an overtime. Now, Texas did win in overtime, but on Sunday, UTRGV came back and the women's soccer team bounced back with a 2-0 win over Incarnate Word. Andrea Barrera made a great play to score a goal at the 43rd minute. And then in the second half, America Martinez scored her first goal of the season to get a win. This is ESPN 30 for 30 snack size, the Jim Bob story. Jim Bob used to play football at Sherryland. Jim Bob used to play football at Harvard Simmons. This was ESPN 30 for 30 snack size, the Jim Bob story. The women's soccer team now has a record of 4-3-2. I can count. And the men's soccer team, they had a great weekend. They had a 4-1 win over Our Lady of the Lake. And Barbara, who scored the goals? Elias Kosmidis, who is from Thessaloniki, Greece, scored two goals to start off the contest. Sophomore captain number 10, Jako Hietiko, who is from Tusula, Finland, scored his fifth goal of the, of the year. And then you also had Carlos Acevedo putting a goal in the back of the net. So that does it with this week's UTRGV Sportscast. I'm Daniel Gabon Barbara. Do you have a last message for people? Just, if you get hit in the face, embrace it. And hit somebody in the face with a cake to make you feel better. Reporting for UTRGV TV, she's Barbara Krug. I'm Daniel Gabon. The cameraman was Michael. And for our very first Spotlight of the Month, we have here with us Dr. Christian Croyle, who is uh, the Vice President for Student Success here at UTRGV. Thank you for being here with us, Doctor. And thank you for inviting me. Well, she has earned her doctoral degree in clinical psychology at the University of Montana. She's a licensed psychologist in the state of Texas, and she joined the UTPA faculty in 2002. Okay, so... What does the Division of Student Success encompass and how does it serve us? Student success is, uh, as I'm sure you've heard the President say, the core priority of the institution. So okay. the Division of Student Success is kind of unique. Most universities don't have a Division of Student Success. And my job is to focus really on the success of our students. Mm -hmm. So um, in our division we have three areas, but before I talk about the three areas, I want to be sure to say that we work closely with faculty and staff from across the institution. So student success right. is everybody's job, and specifically the job of the people who work for me. So in student success, we've got student educational outreach that focuses on the K-12 through educational pipeline into the university. We also have our area of student life, um, led by our dean of students, Becky Gadsden. And student life focuses on the development and support of the whole student. So, for example, our student organizations that help our students to um, really take their interests and grow them into leadership skills, right. that's all through student life. And the third area is student academic success, and the focus of student academic success is really to support the academic development of students. Okay. So that includes um, things like the Learning Center, the oversight of the general education curriculum and how that fits together as a program, academic advising, and the Career Center because it, mm -hmm. it also focuses on the development of academic student I academic identity and how that leads into a career, how you take your coursework and become a, 
like a highly qualified professional. Wow, so it's many, many things mm -hmm. here at our campus. I'm gonna switch gears here okay. a little. As you already know, with the termination of DACA, mm -hmm. it's been affecting a lot of students here at our university. What has the Division of Student Success been doing um, in order to help them or in order to, you know, inform mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. about what's happening today? So, uh, broadly, we, every student that is admitted to the university deserves to be here and is welcome and is part of our university family whether they are international students, regardless of race or religion, regardless of documentation or citizenship or place of birth, every student that's at UTRGV is welcome and is, and we're here to support them in reaching their educational goals. There's all these things you have to put on your application, citizenship is not one of them. There's all these things you have to put on a financial aid application, but there are many financial aid resources available to students that may not be documented. Mm -hmm. So we did a review of our resources, and then more recently we have been collecting resources for undocumented students. We have a new website that just went up a couple weeks ago that we're regularly updating as, as new reliable information is available. And we recently sponsored a, a, two information sessions on campus so that students who had specific questions, this is my situation, what, what in the world am I supposed to do? Um, would be able to go to those information sessions and get specific answers to their specific questions. Okay, and where would we be able to find the, that website that has all that information? That website is hosted on the Student Life website. Okay. Um, and it's, it's actually in two places. There, and on that website there are resources for faculty, and we know many faculty are supporting students that are undocumented um, with information mm -hmm. and, and with emotional support. And it's also on the resources for students. And in both okay. cases, it's, uh, I think it's called something like supporting, um, supporting students who are undocumented, something like that. Okay, so, so really it's, straightforward. Yeah, very right? straightforward. And yeah. it's got a Q&A it on it, and it also has links to reliable resources. Okay, what would you say, what would you like to say to those that are at the brink of like not knowing what their future is gonna be? personally, what would you say to them? I would say that they are part of our family and we're here for them. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Croyle. Thank you. We loved having you here t with us today and we hope that maybe in the future we can do this again. That's all we have for you today, but remember, if you have a story you would like for us to know about, you can contact us through our social media or email us at utrgvtv at gmail.com. We have community and UTRGV news for you every week. Until next time.